YouTube. YouTube. Okay, YouTube. It is really hot. Okay, welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's Nick here, 45 Degrees Sailing. Uh, again, thank you for all the support on the videos. Now, we're actually at the spot where we filmed the docking stern two with lazy lines on the Hansa 588 at Vis. Uh, and we, we told you how to come in, uh, told you how to come in, how to hook it all up. Great. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, that is here about how to dock at this point. Now I've had a lot of requests for, hey, can you just do a video of how you leave the dock? So uh, I did want to do that with two people, but I haven't got the mounts for my camera, so Mahin is going to um, going to do that while I do it solo. But then I can explain how I would do it if I had another crew member. Because if you can do it solo, you can do it with another crew member. So effectively, first up, we're just going to make sure everything is all ready to go. So I'm going to take in my shore power cable. I know that seems simple, but people have done it. All right, take in the shore power cable, um, pull up the plank, secure the plank. Don't just dump it on the deck, secure it properly. Uh, swim platform up if you've got one. Uh, I even take the laundry off the sides of the boat because if anything, you come over and you want to deal with fenders, then pegs come flying off and laundry goes in. You just don't want to deal with any other distractions. My standard deal. Uh, and then I've got my engine on, warming that up while I set my lines as well. I get my quarter lines all ready by undoing the extra turns that I've got on them and making sure there's no tangles in this line because I'm going to let this run out uh, and possibly I might run it out while I'm driving out if something goes wrong and I need more hands. So get those both ready and no tangles in the end of the line, no knots. Uh, then also go to the bow and I'm double checking the position of my tender or my dinghy to make sure that is not fouled with the bow line and the lazy line running back. I've done that before where we dropped the bow line and it was over top of the dinghy painter. We're cruising out all confident and happy. Then all of a sudden that pinged off the dinghy and it actually whipped it up and went into a prop. So, you know, careful of that. Um, and the last thing I checked is that the mooring lines are all clear and ready to go. Clear down both sides, no obstructions. All these checks are going to make your job so much easier. All right, and I got a bit of a crowd on the left kind of watching, so I'll just have to cool those nerves. <laughs> all right, so once we've got all that done, Double check it again, uh, make sure that you're nice and tidy in and around the cockpit so nothing's gonna get caught up. So from here, I'm going to go and release my forward bow lines, because I'm on my own today. Now, if you had another person, you're gonna put that person on the bow, and you're just gonna do it line by line. So at the moment, our wind is coming off our starboard quarter out here. So our port bow line is the least needed in this situation. So I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna drop that. Uh, so if I was on the stern here, I'd say, right, drop the port bow line. My person on the bow would say, drop the port bow line. Okay, so I'm gonna go forward and do that. So I've got my two bow lines here, and they're both nice and taut and tight, but because I don't need my port one right now, I'm going to drop this and do these things one by one. There we go. The other trick is don't just dump it. Ease it off, hold it, and see how the boat moves or reacts. Because if it reacts in a way that's like, hang on, that wasn't right, then you can easily put it back on. I'm going to drop that and let it sink. All right, now this one's all ready to go. I'm going to take the extra turn off it, back down to the stern. So now, because I'm solo in this case, I'm gonna drop this into forward gear, and now that I've cleared one of my bow lines, I'm gonna drop my bow thrusters. Because I have dropped down bow thrusters and stern thrusters, I don't want them getting caught up with anything that can loop over, so I often just wait until this point to put them down. Now that I'm in gear, I'm pulling against my two stern lines, so my bow is gonna be relatively safe just with the thrust of the engine as I hold myself out. Now you can do this with two people as well. You can say, right, I'm in forward now, as long as you watch the lazy lines at the back. Now this port is great. They look after these lines and they're long, so they sink. But if they're not long, they could be pulling up tension. So you might wanna drop those, let them sink before you engage in gear. Now we're gonna drop the starboard bow line. And again, we'll do it slowly to make sure the boat's gonna sit all right. Now I expect it to move a lot more this time because it's gonna be free on the wheel, but my helm is set to neutral. Happy with that, and the dinghy's still clear. And every time I come down, just always looking for the right positions, make sure everything's in the right place. Now, the first line I wanna release here is the port quarter, because it's away from me, it's away from the helm. Now, that's gonna automatically send me into the boat on starboard, and that's okay. When you get that line in and that line is clear, make sure it's 
all the way clear. It's not hanging over the side. If you've got someone on the bow helping you out, make sure they tell you that the line is clear. Now, right at this point, because I'm pulling against the boats, but it's light wind in from the stern, I'm actually just gonna go to neutral, straighten my boat up with either the bow thruster or the helm in forward gear. Then we're gonna release this one. Now, in a windy situation right now, whether it was on the bow, you would instantly get blown back. So I would start in forward gear, central helm, as I pull out and take this line out. And if you needed to, you could just let that line stay in the water as you concentrated on driving the boat out. Now, right now, neutral. I've already got a little bit of movement, I'm in control. Got my thrusters if I need them, but you shouldn't really need them at this stage. Oh, catch my breath. So using neutral is really important all the time. Uh, I'd much rather catch a bow line or catch a mooring line at slow speed and not engage with my propeller. As long as I've got movement and steerage on my rudder, then I'm okay with that. There's also a boat coming in just off my starboard bow, but I'm not gonna rush myself because of them. I'm just gonna manage, oh, it's hot. Manage this. All right, gonna get the sweat towel. Another thing that Mahina prepares for me because it's 10 to nine and what's the temperature? It's 25 degrees. It's, a, no, it's 30, it's 30 degrees. All right, so now that we're out, I'm engaged. The, I've forgotten this before. Remember your dinghy, if you've had it on the bow, is still dragging on the bow. And I haven't got this on a cleat. I've got it on the lifelines so that I can see if there's any extra tension on it because I'm not pulling on it fast. So now that I'm clear of the berth, these guys have just come in a little bit close. There's no real need to push in that quickly. All right, and um, you know what? We're gonna film them now and see how they dock. So you're gonna get a double video. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna bring the dinghy back now and we're clear. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, um, comment on the video, I'll answer any questions I can. And um, please subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 10,000, so I'd really like to hit that in the next month and a half. So thanks for watching.